In this video, we're gonna go over the installation of our 620 heel plates. Uh, this one here is the passenger side. The driver is basically just a mirror of it. These are uh, available from skillard.com. This one here is raw aluminum. They're also available powder coated black. One of the features of these heel plates is, is that uh, they hinge up. So you can see now they're locked in here, they're secured. Um, and uh, you might find that you drop something down in here, you need to clean it, or whatever the reason is, you need to get underneath them. Rather than unscrewing the whole thing, uh, you can utilize the quick release latch that comes with them, pop them up, hinge them out of the way, and then uh, you can just drop them back down, and lock them back into place. Um, in ours, we don't have any carpet in, it's just bare metal. Um, so if you were gonna use some carpet in your 620, uh, It'll sit up just a little bit higher. Same process for putting it in though. So obviously this one in our 620 has already been installed, but I'm gonna kind of go over the process and how we like to put them in. So um, when we're starting, we're gonna position the heel plate in uh, the desired position and look that you want it in your truck. And then um, one thing to keep in mind is underneath it, there is some structure and some framework. You might have uh, rerouted brake lines, fuel lines, things like that. You wanna be aware of where that is because if you're drilling holes or putting screws through the floor, you wanna make sure you don't hit any of that stuff. So just kinda making sure that you're aware of that, that's a good check to do before you get started. Um, but once it's positioned into place where you want it, um, what I like to do is start where the quick latch is. I prefer the quick, quick latches on the outside because they're easier to get to versus the inside, but you could put it on the inside. This is a plastic cap that comes with it. So you can pop the cap in here. And if you wanted to switch it, you could do that. Anyway, I like them on the outside. So that's where this one is. So um, once it's positioned into place, this is not gonna be here. There's just a hole. I like to put a mark. So I'll put a mark in the floor and you can see where our, uh, our pin is. What we have here is an M6 rib nut. And we have some videos, if you're not aware of rib nuts and how those install. And so I drilled the hole for the M6 rib nut, used the rib nut tool, put it in, and then threaded the, uh, the provided pin here, and then ended up using uh, the locking uh, nuts on the bottom side to hold that in the position. But these are adjustable up and down so you can get the right amount of tension when you close it. You don't have to use the M6 rib nut. You could just drill a hole and use a nut on the top and a nut on the bottom. It does raise the back of the heel plate up slightly because you have to have room for the nut here too. If you're using carpet, something like that, it would be up a little higher anyway. That wouldn't really matter, but I wanted it pulled down nice and tight. So M6 right there. I drill that. I put the M6 rib nut in. Um, then I put the latch in here get this aligned and tight and actually latch it into place <clears throat> and then make sure that this is pivoted or rotated wherever I need it, that it hasn't moved. And so after this is located and in position, I move up toward the hinges and start that installation process. So with the hinges, the first step is gonna be attach the hinge to the heel plate. And you can see here, there's some stainless steel M4 machine screws. Those come with them. Um, with the kit and so i'll slide them through the top slide them through the hinge and then underneath here we have some uh, nylock nuts that we put on there get them all snugged in nice and tight after those are in position and i have this position the back corner latched in um, it's time to start putting the the top flange of the hinge in here might be a little hard to see but maybe oh we can see it from underneath there's some uh, aluminum spacers that are in here and that's to space it off the floor to try to make them uh, level. Um, Cause in this case, I decided to put it flat versus having the hinges pivoted up on the, the firewall. So I positioned the uh, washers, spacers, aluminum spacers underneath here. And then with this back right corner uh, locked down in position, um, I took a small diameter drill bit, eighth inch, something like that and mark the one, two, three, four holes that I was gonna use by starting it or actually just drilling them through. But I like to do 
uh, one at a time to make sure that nothing moves. So I might mark them, then I'll actually drill through all the way with one. Um, these then come with uh, M5 rib nuts that are in the hardware kit that you'll drill through the floor, install the M5 rib nut. Um, after you put that eighth inch hole, you're gonna need a bigger drill bit to fit the M5 rib nut through, which um, I believe I'm using a seven millimeter for the M5s. Um, but basically you just want a drill bit that's the same diameter or real close diameter to the outer diameter of the rib nut. Again, you can look at our uh, rib nut videos um, if you have questions on how to install those. So put the rib nut in, then use the M5 machine screw, uh, tighten it down, come over here, do the opposite side, same process. Um, you know, every time you need to drill a new hole though, um, you're going to need to uh, pull the hinge out of the way. So once you put this one in, this one you can pull out of the way because it just folds back, put that one in, but then in order to do these two center ones, you'll actually have to take the outer screws out, fold it back. And the reason I like that process is that um, it doesn't shift and the holes will still line up to the rib nuts. So um, once that's all in and secured, you tighten them down and you get to this stage. Another option is that we'll provide a number 12 uh, stainless steel sheet metal screw. And so if you chose to, you don't have to use the rib nuts. You could just uh, run sheet metal screws down through it. Um, but then you have little points sticking out the bottom. But that's going to come with it as another option. If you don't want to hassle with aligning all of the rib nuts to do the front part, you can just flip it over on the spacers drill a couple holes, run in with a screwdriver, the uh, machine screws, and uh, call it a day. So now that we've got our latch in, our hinge in, it's pretty solid. But one thing you might find is that you might have a little deflection in here depending on how the side of this sits down into your truck, or you want it to be a little softer close, whatever that might be. And so in order to accommodate that, we've included um, these rubber bumpers. And so, again, this rubber bumper um, comes with it. Inside that rubber bumper is an M6 machine screw. So what I did is I positioned it in a spot that I wanted it on the heel plate. Um, so mine is roughly right here. I mean, if you wanted it further forward, you just wanna make sure that you don't put it so it's uh, coming into one of the hole openings, but Anywhere, you know, I like it over here to give it that extra security when I'm stepping in and out. Um, you might find you prefer in the middle on the driver's side, you might prefer it closer up to the pedals. You might decide that you don't want to use it at all. That's up to you. We just provide it so you can get extra stability if you find that you have a spot that you need it. Um, like I said in mine, the I use the M6 rib nut just like I did over here. So drilled put the uh, rib nut in and then ran down the M6 uh, machine screw. And um, there are nuts, so if you needed to add a nut to lock it in and space it higher, you can. Um, on ours, we ran it all the way down and actually there's some compression to it. So you can over tighten it essentially and it'll squish it down a little bit and actually make the overall height a little bit smaller than when you pull it out of the bag. And that's what we decided to do on this one. Um, so again, a uh, handful of options uh, for how you're gonna um, put this, align this, install it. There's a few different things that you can do if you're not gonna use the um, rib nuts. You know, this one, if you don't wanna use the M6 rib nut, just make sure where you put it, there's not part of the frame rail or something, so that way you can get to the bottom side. If there's a rib nut, you just have to attach it from the top. Whereas if you're deciding not to use the rib nuts that are provided and use the nuts instead, you gotta be able to get to the bottom, put a nut on, and then that way you can uh, tighten it down that way. So, um, like I said, this is the passenger side. The driver's side is basically the same process. It's just the heel plate's a mirror of the passenger side. Um, again, these are available from skillard.com and uh, please email sales at skillard.com if you have any questions.